And a warm welcome. Our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry. And alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Number eight, Ekai Gundogan. Number 37, Phil Foden. Number nine, Erling Haaland. And number 10, Jack Grealish. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne starts alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. The initial 11 for Wolves. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And so the match is underway. Holland with a textbook interception. Moutinho. It's with Gundogan. Laporte, Kevin De Bruyne, Phil Foden now, Holland, Holland, and a goal! That is a very bright start, perfect way to open. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish, but the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Now the action continues, and it's on Wolves to show invention and perhaps level the game. Huang Hee-chan. Moutinho. And not cleared away properly. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Grealish. It's with Laporte. Rodri. Rodri. Now Holland. Gundogan. And the ball with De Bruyne. And he's making progress. Gundogan, and back with Grealish, a very effective clearance. De Bruyne. On to Holland, making sure it didn't get past him. Diego Costa. Just the challenge that was required. Rodri. It's with Gundogan. Holland. De Bruyne. 
Well, moving the ball impressively here. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Grealish. Back to Holland. Foden. Can he put it away? Could be. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Applying vigorous pressure. Diego Costa. And teammates to play it to. And overcame the ball from the flank, but dealt with in the end. Well, not hard to read that pass. And Moutinho with it. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, still an issue here. And problem solved for now. Walker. Now, what can they produce on the flank? It needs an accurate cross. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Foden. Now with Walker. Gundogan, Erling Haaland, he's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing, magnificent goal! Just look at this again, the combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and Haaland made the finish look easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Holland. Superb block. Gundogan. Oh, keeper dealt with it. They favoured a short one here. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Gundogan. On to De Bruyne. And still they wait for the chance. A really top-notch piece of defending. Moutinho. Intelligent threaded pass here. Cunha. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Fine sequence of passes. Walker. It's with Joao Cancelo. Foden Walker now with De Bruyne Foden now Walker De Bruyne well such a high degree of difficulty not quite in the end well how good was that it's such a difficult piece of skill which he made look so easy that deserved a goal
So two minutes to be added on at the end. Rodri. De Bruyne. Walker now. And there goes the whistle for half-time. It's City in front. They'll be the happier of the two sides at the break, Stuart. Well, as we highlighted, they look like a side who will score goals every time they go forward. Their front players have been so clever with their movement. This could turn into a rout in the second half. And the second half underway after what was a sparkling first 45 from City. Can they repeat that in the second 45? It's looking promising. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And Moutinho with it. Wolves unable to retain possession. Holland. It's with Gundogan. Mateus Cunha. That's a good-looking ball. Options in the middle. Well, not quite the cross he was hoping for. Rodri. Phil Foden now. Walker. Foden. Back with Walker. Well, offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. And possession given away. Joao Cancelo. Holland. The supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Who can he pick out? Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Oh, that's a really good run. Foden, able to get a body in the way. And into the last 30 minutes now. Nelson Semedo. This is looking threatening. Moutinho. Phil Foden. Holland. Walker now. Back to Holland. Determined defending. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? Well, it petered out. Holland. But well, he's got past his man. And danger still. Nicely cut out. Mares. Holland. And clears the danger. They're not cherishing the ball the way they usually do. City move it forward with purpose. Holland. Foden. Well read to ease the pressure. Breaking at pace. Cunha. 
the goal! Not over just yet. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So back underway, and who's to say Wolves can't find another one? Just 15 minutes remaining. Holland. Moving the ball effectively. Holland. He's in behind. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, let's just take another look at this pass from Haaland. He has so much vision, and Bernardo Silva does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a great finish that is. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Plenty of support here, but really sticking to their task defensively. Rodri. Phil Foden now. De Bruyne. Holland. Can he put it in? And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. Number five, John Stones. So getting close to the end of this one, and City pushing all the right buttons. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Promising pass. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. And time for the change now. Joao Cancelo on to Silva really doing a fine job of protecting the ball Foden and still looking to get the shot away the high press with... oh yes a goal exactly what they were looking for and he's come up with it Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. A 
glut of goals. 5-1 it is. They might be able to get in now. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Number 37, Adama Traore. And unable to keep possession. And there goes the final whistle. A real sense of feel good for City fans everywhere. They take the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game. And once again, they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.